Hey everybody, welcome back. Alright. Hoping to solve the mysteries behind a certain ancient tome, you head to Quarry Crest. Here you seek out Odette, former colleague who may be able to shed some light on the matter. Story so far. Cyrus left the academy behind and searched the lost home from the far reaches of hell. His disappearance was a riddle wrapped in mystery, a riddle that piqued his scholarly curiosity. Even suffering the indignity of losing his post was a small price to pay for the opportunity of solving this fascinating puzzle. And so did Cyrus come to Quarry Crest to call upon an old colleague. You just might have the answers he seeks. Oh. You have all the makings of a great scholar, Cyrus. Allow me to offer you a word of warning. For all your intellect, you've always been clumsy in matters of the heart. I know that your research is more important to you than anything. But you would do well to give some thought to how, how you treat the fairer sex. You're more handsome than you give yourself credit for. If you're not careful, you might find your words and actions misconstrued by those around you. Now then! You'll forgive me. Anyhow, here we are. Yes, yes, I'll be right there. 
It's been some time, Odette. <sighs> hmm? You're still here. I guess I'm not suffering from fatigue-induced hallucinations after all. It's me, Odette, in the flesh. Good to see you as hale and hearty as ever. And you're as insufferable as ever, no doubt. What are you waiting for? Come in already. Don't mind if I do. How did I know that would be your reaction? We were practically joined at the hip back in the day. Just watching you go about was fun in and of itself. I always had a hunch you'd end up in trouble with the ladies, but to think it would happen with the princess of all people! Somehow, you've managed to exceed even my wildest expectations. By expelling me, they hope to protect Her Highness's good name. Needless to say, there's no truth in any of this. Oh, of course, of course. I'm sure it's all as you say. Her Highness and this Therese are just your pupils. They have no romantic interest in you in the slightest. You're something else, Cyrus. But it's a relief to find your powers of observation are as keen as ever. Uh-huh. Well... Did you come all this way just to entertain me? If so, congratulations on a job well done. Save your congratulations for another time. I've come in search of a certain tome. Are you perchance familiar with From the Far Reaches of Hell? A cheery title if I've ever heard one. I can tell you that it's a compendium of ancient rites and rituals. Not that I've read it myself, of course. I know that much. I was hoping you could tell me more. Not much more. It touches upon necromancy, I believe. Necromancy? Necromancy. That said, as to what extent, I know little. Is that so? Give me a break. A hole. Naturally.
most intriguing. As you wish. I see. Think of it, three people who went missing were all last seen near the end. Could well be a coincidence. Sister run around canals run through throughout East Town. I don't think anyone's visited down there in quite some time though. Seen it happen both in the dead of night and broad daylight. Someone's walking by the inn, they turn the corner up ahead, and when, when I followed, they were gone, vanished into thin air. Now then! Near the inn. Hmm. Every victim was in the general vicinity of the inn when they disappeared. We can say with absolute certainty that they did not vanish into thin air or some such nonsense. At all hours. Hmm. As such, it stands to reason they were kidnapped. And that the kidnapper made use of a hidden path or passage to evade the public eye. The schnurge. Stink town. The entrance to the sewers would seem to be an ideal escape route. Yes, yeah, that was the culprit stolen to ground the spirit of his victims away. Thusly. <clears throat> Aha! Interesting.
<laughs> Your fucking lectures give me a headache. Beginning of Moo. your end. Moo. I'll do my best. Big fucking catfish, run away! Fine. Gee, how useful. It looks like Satan in here. Most intriguing. We here. <laughs> Dude strapped to the fucking wall of the background. Well, look at all these fucking demonic signs on the floor. Oh, he does notice the dude. Hmm. Wait. Are they? Oh no, shit, Sherlock. Big red jars. What in the? Couldn't be. Mm. Or different the preposterous. Or, or it could be different levels of hydrogenation. Or not hydrogenation. Bleh. Oxygenation. Oxygenation. Shut up. Oxygen makes blood red. <laughs> hydrogenation. What the fuck am... Well, I shouldn't ask what the fuck I'm smoking. Weed and Marlboro Reds, but still. <laughs> hydrogenation. Jesus Christ. I know it's fucking 3 o'clock in the morning, but still, this is my afternoon hours. Hmm. Fucking hell. Look at me, I am dumb. I know what me talk about. He say hydrogen would mean mean oxygen. Herp a derp. Cool, does that mean Why? we can nuke him? I'll be <laughs> Well, they could be a vampire making blood crystals. I mean, there's blood crystals in Vampire Masquerade. More so the point-and-click, you know, Diablo-ish clone one over the, you know, bloodlines, but... Redemption, that's what it was called. Redemption was fun. If a little bit easy if you knew what to do. Dexterity and get a bladed weapon increases your chances <gasps> of just fucking decapitating fucking vampires. Like, it's a vampire, decapitate that and max out blood steel and kill humans in one hit when it's maxed out, and then you just take all the blood from a vampire and make him go frenzy. Of course, then again, by the end game, I'm usually just toting around fucking miniguns, but. Can't really chop and the head off. And who might you be? Can't really chop the head off the final boss. Some big dumb Zamitsi flesh dragon thing.
Just a scholar of no particular repute. I was passing through and could not help but notice these odd gemstones. Are they perhaps your work? And these strange glyphs, are they not runes of High Hornbergian? Are they now? What is it with people? The tomes being... of ancient Hornberg were lost long ago. No ordinary scholar would be privy to this knowledge. What is it with people named Gideon being assholes? But how could any self-respecting academic perform such horrors? Ho oh, ho! Seems you're more of a scholar than you give yourself credit for. They still live, yes? If you know what's best for you, you'll free them at once. Well, since you asked so nicely... No, I think not. A shame. If only you hadn't come poking around in my secrets. I wouldn't have minded picking your brain. Now I'll have to settle for sucking your blood! I challenge you to I a cannot battle. fail! This is... And, and for a change, it's actually mm. going to be a wizard battle. <laughs> as fucked up as that actually is. Hmm. Elemental break! Whoa! <laughs> I appreciate it. Really? Bring it on! Try this! My turn now. Prepare yourself! Elfric, bringer of the flame! All right! for surgery. Interesting dilemma. Now the true lesson begins. Ignis are dead. Not bad. A passing grade. What happened to the guy strapped to the wall? He just vanished. Yeah, just leave the woman What's on the floor. What's in the... Hmm. 
Aha! Uh. Are you okay? Excuse me. I'm about to give you a lecture on who I fucking am. We did take the blood crystals, right? <laughs> If only she were awake to see you just blast a torrent of flame and reduce that dude to a fucking scorch mark on the wall. <laughs> now then! <sighs> the truth is... Because the book is there. Mm -hmm. It's gonna be Stone Guard because there's like book binders all over the fucking place in the town. Hmm. Indeed. My gratitude. Aha! Which means that... Mm -hmm. Yes. I see.
I hope I don't get kidnapped in the middle of the night if I stay at the end. Don't kidnap me, bro. You're still here. I am, but not a moment longer. Thank you for everything, Odette. I am in your... Uh, debt. You helped out a little here. What say we call it even? Be safe, Cyrus. I have a hunch you're poking around in something far more sinister than either of us can imagine. I am well aware of the danger. I will exercise due caution. <laughs> due caution? I'll believe it once you quit diving headfirst into whatever you think smells of mystery. A man cannot so easily change his God's given disposition. You said it was 15 years ago that the tome was stolen. That I did. What of it? As you may recall, the then headmaster of the academy died under mysterious circumstances that very same year. And you believe the two incidents are connected somehow? No, I just like spouting valedictory trivia. But now that you mention it... The disorder following the incident would offer a convenient opportunity to misappropriate an article from the archives, wouldn't you say? Your insight is invaluable and appreciated. I will keep this in mind. I mean it, Cyrus. Be careful out there. I will. And I'll return as soon as I get to the bottom of this. You have my word. I'll be waiting with bells on. And so Cyrus bid Quarry Quest farewell. The translated volume he recovered from the villain, pointing him to his next destination, Stoneguard, in the Highlands, where the original copy of the tome he sought surely lies. Cyrus forged on in search of the truth. And we'll teleport over to Stoneguard. Well, right now. But we'll start the story next time. Later.